Hey everyone, just wanted to bring you all a video that you might find helpful for the new Sinister Assembly event, or Doctor's Orders Milestone, uh, that just went live tonight. Uh, this is a 10 day event with a ton of rewards via the new milestone, which I suppose is dedicated to the release of Doc Ock coming Monday. So in this video we are going to start off by going over these milestones and what you need to do to get the Sinister Credits to open the orbs for this milestone, and look at some of the rewards that they are offering through the course of this event. The second half of this video, we are going to be jumping over to my infamous spreadsheets to go over some of the math of the event and share with you all what kind of blitzing you're going to need to do if you want to clear the entire milestone. So without further ado, let's get us started. And to get this started here, uh, you can find the event here in the events page here. It should be open now. Uh, we do have the Sinister Assembly here, so that's the Flash event that's going on for the next 10 days. And you can see all the other tags that are related to the car or other cards rather that are here too. Oh, that was weird. Why did the versus battle match just... No. Well, that was buggy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, if you click on the I here, it'll tell you how you can earn uh, the Sinister Credits. So you can earn it through campaign energy. So any of the campaign energy that you spend from now will earn you Sinister Credits. Uh, blitz matches, you do get 35 Sinister Credits per Blitz win. And then through the raids in the arena is uh, a, a bit funny because a lot of people thought that you would get that just from doing battles and such, but you actually get it through the daily objective, uh, through the raids in arena, arena daily objective. So uh, if you, for the first day, if you had already done it earlier on before the event went live, then you won't actually get that from that. So, and then you're do, getting quite a bit from the versus battle matches, which they've added. So this is quite a, a bit of a departure, I guess, from the previous events, uh, like the, the former X-Force event that they had had a handful of months ago and I think the fun in the sun which had a very similar structure to what we're seeing here uh, but now instead of uh, war which sometimes they use in the past now we're getting PvP uh, so that one's a little bit different so if you click on the Sinister Assembly event here you are bringing to the doctor's orders milestone here uh, which you need to spend sinister credits in order to get the milestone so it's largely a one-to-one -one conversion uh, you do need to spend a certain amount of credits to open the orbs so we'll get to that after this here uh, so you just open any of the orange purple or blue assembly orbs i would normally recommend people to save for the orange orbs i think that's probably going to be the most amount of um uh the worth i guess you could say from this event uh, for some reason that bugged out there and so we can click on it and we can take take a look at some of the uh rewards that you're going to get out of this so you do get quite a bit this is largely designed around sinister six so there's gonna be a lot of sinister six uh, related stuff in here so we're getting a lot of gear credits all the way down through so i haven't calculated all of this but it's quite nice uh, so you're getting 20 rhino shards there you're getting some vultures and green goblins some carnage you know if you still need that some abcs a little bit of energy here and there uh some gold orbs 10 Domino Shards, you know, if you still need that for Doc Ock coming up. Uh, more ABCs. I got some Legacy Orbs. I guess if you're a new player, then that might help you out a little bit. Some Squirrel Girl, Taskmaster. A 3-star Swarm, if you got seriously unlucky in your Red Star Pulls. Uh, Corvus Glaive. This is really nice, actually, because, you know, as we know, Black Order is not farmable. So I will take any additional Shards that we can get from that. And we're starting to get some Elite 4 credits here, about a fifth way through the Milestone. Some more ABCs, of course more Elite Four credits, and some interesting Superior Uniques. Uh, the Palladium is quite good for, I think, um, uh, does Thanos need Palladium? I forget who else uses it exactly here. Uh, Carbonadium, I have way too much of that. Uh, more ABCs, some Yo-Yo Shards, Gamma Radiation, that's not bad if you're needing it from Minerva, because she uses Gamma Radiation. Uh, Alien Spores, amazing unique here for any of the Symbiotes, and we are going to be getting more Symbiotes next patch, uh, so hold on to these as well. Lot of Catalysts here, 125 of each of the purple ones, that's really good, and this is about 40% way through the Milestone, and then we start to get into the orange, and then we get some 10 X-23 Shards, so if you're in a bit of a bind here uh, for Doc Ock, then you're going to be getting some X-23 Shards here, if you can make it about halfway through the milestone this is roughly halfway through and a lot of orange gear through that 10 symbiote spider-man lots of mini uniques uh and this is great here 125 of each of the orange catalysts that's a crap ton of <laughs> catalysts and a five star shocker i think that's fun really funny because uh shocker really isn't considered to be one of the main five usable with doc ock but i mean hey i mean if you manage to get this for free and you're just doing the event then you know, maybe you'll find space for him somewhere, potentially. I don't know. But, I mean, he is not one of the best 
of the the eight or however many Sinister Six characters there are now. So my, my Shocker is actually one of my lowest. Uh, lots more Orange Callus, Superior Basic Callus. We do get 10 gold credits. Tons of mini unis going down here. Tons of superior basic catalyst. It gets, I think there's a full elite five by the end of it as well. Lots of mini uniques. And then we end off with 175 more of each of the orange catalysts here. And then again, tons of more mini uniques. So you have one full five elite five uh, orb. And I think an elite four orb as well. And just tons of orange gear. So, uh, you know, if you're prepping for Dark Dimension 4 and that level 80, which is going to be coming in the near future, then definitely, uh, you know, grab all of this orange gear and hold on to it because it's a lot of extra gear for that. So, and that's what you're going to get if you're going to get through the entire milestone here. Uh, let's check out the orbs really quick while we're at it. And so that's in the orb section here. And let's do, 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 do. all these pop-ups here for uh, if you want to whale out, there are offers that you can buy, you know, that will help push you further in the Sinister credits. Uh, but they are down here, I think near the bottom. Are they here? Yep, this is the orange, purple, and the blue. So I haven't opened any yet. Uh, largely, I would say that I, I would just hold out for the orange. You know, even if you're sort of an early and mid-game player, I would consider doing the orange because in the long run, I think you're going to get the most use out of that. So let's check what's inside of it. So on the left pillar, you are getting just five of these random gear pieces here. I think it's the center, which is uh, what people want. So 50% of the time, you're getting five of these, again, five more gear pieces of orange. But you do get 28% of a 20%, 28% chance of three superior uniques, which isn't too terrible either. And then a very low chance, 11%, you either get uh, 500 Elite 4 credits or 250 Elite 5. Now, this is super rare because that's 10% of 11%. So that's uh, like a quick math. I think that's 1% chance or just over 1% chance that's going to happen. So not very much. And then uh, five oranges. So it's not terrible there, though. Uh, I'm not going to go into the purple orb, but I think this is the same. The, oh, so the right includes uh, gear orb. Uh, sorry, not gear orb. Uh, orb fragments here. So mostly gold orb or premium orb, but you do have a small chance of getting a small amount of mega orb fragments. And then I think uh, a bit more here. So 400 or half an orb for gold and premium. So that's not too bad either. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to go into the purple orb, uh, but I, I would definitely recommend buying and saving up for the orange assembly orb and buying that whenever you possibly can, because I think that you're going to make the most out of that and through the event as well. Uh, let's open just one for kicks. I do have enough. I, I did one round of blitzing so far today, and so let's just open this orb anyways and see what we get out of that for myself. All green. <laughs> okay. Wasn't too good. Uh, we did get the 250 gold orb fragments, but I think I'm just super unlucky lately. Uh, today well, hasn't been good on my luck on opening any orbs. So uh, that is my first one there. And then let's jump on over to my spreadsheet where I'll help explain some of the math behind this event and how much you're probably going to look to have to blitz in order to get this done. All right, so I moved myself over to the right hand side of the screen for this so that I'm not blocking any of my. Uh, my spreadsheet here. We're going to go over this together. I know it, I'm not the best when it comes to layout. Sometimes it might look a bit confusing, but we're going to go through this together and hopefully it can make some sense for you guys. So uh, just to clarify, this is the doctor's orders milestone. It is a total of 10 days. And I put a few little bits of information. So whenever you're spending campaign energy, you're getting, you know, equivalency of, of one energy is one sinister credit. So if you spend 100 energy, 100 energy you're going to get 100 sinister credits. Uh, I put this 1750 balanced PvP daily. This is currently going on at the moment for the first 24 hours. Now, I don't know if it's going to continue to do so, but we're going to address that later on as we go through. And so my blitz calculations are going to be assuming uh, two different things. Either you have 15 team a 15 team blitz rotation or a 20 team blitz rotation. Now, the 15 might be if you're more of a mid game player, uh, 20 being if you're more of a late game player like myself. The reason why I didn't go higher, I know you might have more than 20, uh, but for the purposes of blitzing for this event you probably want to spend about four or five teams probably just to knock yourself down tiers so just by going into battle and losing intentionally so that you drop down your tier so that it's easier for you to win now no I, I use about five or six teams to do that so that kind of eliminates some of the teams that I'd be able to use in my rotations and so this is why I'm using uh, two different metrics either a 15 team blitz or a 20 team blitz comp uh, so you do get 35 uh, sinister credits per win of blitz so that's pretty standard across all of this now in terms of rotations so basically this simple math you know is doing uh 35 or sorry uh you know 490 points so this is two rotations of doing the blitz so that's uh 35 times 15 times two you know if you're doing two rotations of the day and then i have four rotations six and eight 
Um, so you, here you can see the points that you're going to get uh, by doing blitzes this many times per day. So this is on a daily basis here. And uh, this is important as we go further down the list in terms of where your points are coming from now. Uh, so you can see here that you get about 2,450 points. So if you, if you do 15 team blitz rotations, four rotations a day, you're getting almost enough to open one orange uh, assembly orb. Now, if you're on the 20 team side and you're doing four, you know, you're getting almost twice as much. So uh, this does make a little bit of a difference as we go down at the very bottom to the end. Uh, we'll see how many days it'll take for you to finish the event, depending on how many rotations you're doing a day. I also do want to point out that you are going to get 300 sinister credits from your arena daily and 400 from your raid daily. Now, if you did this early on today, uh, you might not have got this because um, uh, you did it too early before the event went live and you got punished for that, unfortunately, uh, like myself. So uh, included in the, uh, the calculations, I have assumed that everyone does this for seven days. Uh, so if you kind of miss the first day on that, then you'll have to compensate a little bit more, you know, maybe with an extra bliss rotation to make up the 700 that you missed from the beginning. Uh, and then here you also guys said it's free so you're getting daily 528 campaign energy now this is the 288 that you're getting for free uh, from just your your general energy refresh timer that you get you know for one energy every five minutes and then 240 for free which is the three daily energy refreshes three times a day uh, 80 energy uh, so 528 that's what you're getting just for free just for playing the game assuming you're logging in uh, three times a day to collect that energy now you're also getting 480 energy from core refreshes so that's the the four refreshes either with the the blitz energy or sorry not the blitz the campaign energy packs or through coring you can get 480 additional for a total of a thousand and eight and so this is a thousand and eight sinister credits that you can get solely from the campaign energy so that's going to go into the calculations as well now currently at the moment we all we do have a blitz Sorry, not a blitz. Uh, a balanced PvP daily milestone that's worth 1,750 credits. Now, I forgot to show that actually uh, just before this, uh, but it is there. There's seven milestones. I think you need to win seven matches, or you know, lose and win a combination of such. Uh, and now I don't know if this is going to be every single day or not because this is here day one. Um, I am in my calculation assuming that this or something similar is going to happen every single day. Now I don't know if that's going to be the case or not and if it does end up changing from this I will post in the comments of the video and uh, also on the description of the video if this does end up changing with an edit I'll, I'll make sure that's made aware. Uh, but at the moment we are getting on day one 1750 sinister credits from doing balanced PvP in a 24 hour period. Now I'm assuming something like similar like that will be continuing through the event but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, so the daily points is here. So this is with a 15 team blitz rotation in mind and then this column here is for 20 team blitz rotations now uh, so you are getting about 3950 points roughly if you're doing two blitz rotations doing your array doing your raid daily doing your arena daily uh, doing your energy farm so en is energy uh, and then the pvp daily as well uh, so that's almost 4000 points there now this goes up by roughly a thousand for four rotations six rotations and eight rotations so you're adding roughly almost a thousand points extra depending on how much blitzing you're doing uh, we will see once we get to the end that blitz is going to make up a significant portion of it but this pvp might as well so you notice that you're only getting 300 points from the day arena and 400 from the raid daily now that's 700 combined that's really not a whole lot comparatively to the 1750 that's being offered by the pvp daily milestone so again i don't know if this is going to be an everyday thing if it is uh then there's going to be a lot of pvp on the horizon for those of you who are not really too keen on doing especially balanced pvp and the time that it might take to do that so do keep that in mind uh so now we'll go over here onto the 20 team blitz size again we're getting about 4850 uh, points here for two rotations of blitz and everything I just said before uh, 6250 for four 7650 for six and 9000 for eight now keep in mind when you have 20 blitz rotation 20 team blitz rotations you're really not going to have to do this many blitzing I just put it here just for reference so in total you're going to need 50,220 points now this is subtracted 
2000 uh, because in the uh, there's a login calendar that's ongoing right now and you in throughout that login calendar you are gonna get 500 energy for free and 1500 sinister credits so that is subtracted from the total which was 52,220 for the milestone but assuming everyone collects this uh, this is the points that you're gonna need so this is the grand total so to speak here so if you are we have 10 days in the event I'll recap on that one so this one here which is if you just did two rotations of blitz with a 15 team rotation uh, you're not gonna make it uh, and even with four rotations with 15 teams you're gonna be pretty hard-pressed to make it as well so anything under 10 is good uh, and then anything higher than 10 you're not gonna make it to the end if that is your goal to do so uh, so when you get to here the six rotations a day and that's with 15 teams of blitz then you're going to make it and then obviously you're going to make it a lot sooner if you do more than that and then on the 20 team side of things two rotations a day again if it keeps the same way in the, in the points that I, I mentioned above then you're not you're going to be really cutting it you're not going to make it completely to the end but you'll basically make it to the end uh, you're going to need to maybe do a little bit more blitzing beyond two rotations a day. Now, there is an ongoing Electro uh, electro Blitz, and probably will run into the second Electro Blitz as well. So there is reasons to do some more blitzing other than the usual, if you so desire. Uh, and then, so going down on this as well, you're going to be getting about uh, four. So once you get to, I would say about three, because it looks like about three. If you did three rotations with 20 characters or 20 teams rather uh, then you will make the points no problem so these are the amount of days required with and of course the more blessing you do the uh the less that you're gonna have to or the the quicker that you'll finish the event overall uh, so i did want to bring this up here so my takeaway points from all of this hopefully some this is all made clear to you guys if not please feel free to make some posts in the comments below i can try and help clear up some confusion if there is any here so some takeaway points PvP, energy, and blitzing is a significant contribution to the amount of points for the milestone. I'm unsure if the PvP is going to be every single day or if they're going to replace it with something else to make up the points or if this is just a day one thing. Now, if the 1750 points from today is just for today, then that's going to make a big difference to the amount of blitzing that you're going to need to do and this is a little bit out of whack. Uh, so you're going to need to blitz probably at least two more rotations a day uh, just to make up for that uh, because if we go back up here uh, two rotations on uh, 20 teams is 1400 points and uh, the balance PvP daily is worth 1750 so for people with 15 teams that's gonna be about four rotations and for people with 20 teams it's gonna be you know just over two rotations so I'm hoping that they're going to keep something like this, either the PvP or something similar in terms of the amount of points, but do keep that in mind, you know, that if they don't, then it just means more blitzing. Uh, so yeah, again, if, if not, then the blitz becomes even more important. And I'm, I'm unsure if there's going to be any other more one day milestones, but I will uh, try to keep people updated to that as it comes apparent. So uh, thanks everyone for watching here. Uh, this is my... Uh, my spreadsheet part, I know it's not the cleanest, but hopefully this made a little bit of sense. So let's quickly outro. Okay, so for the most part, this event isn't that much different than previous events that included these special orbs. Uh, from the festival orbs and anniversary orbs, which is kind of what this reminds me of the most. Unfortunately, it does look like Blitz is going to play a heavy part in scoring well for this event, which is something that people complained about in the past due to the low quality time involved. Uh, but it really depends on what your milestone goals are for this, if you want to clear the whole thing, or if there's something in there you're looking for. Uh, also, it does appear that PvP is going to play a larger role this time around, which I know is going to bother a lot of people who aren't that keen on, well, any form of PvP, and without the option to choose between balanced or quick matches, unless that changes day to day. Unfortunately, if you want to score well on the milestones, you're going to need to engage in one form or another in PvP to scoop up those sinister credits, or you'll probably fall flat in finishing it. But I hope that this video helped, and if it did, then please smash that like button down below. And feel free to let me know how you guys are feeling in regards to this event, if you think it's a bit much, or feel it's just too too much time to spend for the rewards. I know the fact that Blitz and PvP make up a significant portion of it is going to rub people the wrong way. Anyways, that's all from me for today, and hope everyone stays well going into the weekend, and I'll catch you all next time. Boylan signing out.